Hello, this is Sarah Meehan from Concentris, and today I bring you a short and sweet tip related to installing the file drag and drop bundle. So this is a NetSuite developed bundle that allows you to drag and drop files into your NetSuite instance, and you can control which records, which users, what folders they, they upload into. So it's a very cool free bundle that's available through NetSuite, and I wanted to just walk through installing it and show you how to configure it. It's a very quick process. So I'm going to start by going to Customization, Suite Bundler, Search and Install Bundles. So this might not be accessible to your role, depending on the permissions that are granted to you, but I'm logged in as an administrator in this demo environment, so I have the availability of this functionality. I'm going to search by the bundle number, which is currently 41309. You can also search by the name, which is File Drag and Drop. So it says, here it is right here. You can see it's a managed bundle, meaning that NetSuite will push updates out periodically. It's been around for a number of years and it's quite uh, has quite an installer base on it because it is a free bundle and it's really, I think, a great functionality. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this bundle. And then I'm going to click Install. There's going to be a pop-up window. This, you'll see this anytime you're installing a managed bundle. It's just saying that you are given giving the developer, in this case NetSuite, the permission to install future updates in your NetSuite account. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then it will load a screen showing all of the components that are part of this bundle. So here are all of the components. You don't so much need to worry about this. I just wanted to show you for those of you who have not installed a bundle previously, but you do get a list of the components that are installed as part of that bundle. So all I need to do is hit install. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video on my side to let the installation process happen. It'll just take a couple of minutes, but um, I will rejoin you as soon as it is done installing. So at this point, my installation has finished. It took about six minutes to complete the install. And now I'm going to walk through the set, actually setting up the functionality for the drag and drop interface. So I go to Setup, Customization, File, Drag and Drop Setup. There are two different ways that you can set this up. You can either identify a global setting. So here I can define a global destination folder. If I do that, it will enable file drag and drop functionality on all record types, or I can set up specific record types and only enable the functionality on those specific records. So you can do whatever aligns best with your business process, but I will walk through both. So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to bypass the global destination folder initially, and we'll come back to this in the second round. I can define an error message recipient. So this is in those instances where somebody has a permission issue or there's a script error or something like that. This is the person who would receive that auto-generated email. So this is helpful to set up for an administrator or something like that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click Save and Next. And on this screen, I can define specific record types that I will enable the drag and drop functionality on. As I mentioned, if I set up the global destination folder, I am enabling drag and drop functionality on all records. If I skip that and come here instead, I am only setting up the drag and drop capabilities on the records I define. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put journal entry in here. I'm going to select a folder to import into. So I have one here going to choose this folder. If I am so inclined, I can define a folder pattern, meaning that I will allow the system to auto-generate a folder name based on specific criteria. And there's more information on this specific configuration in the documentation that comes as part of the bundle. But there's a little overview here that allows you to define a specific folder, an ID if you want, like a subsidiary ID, a department ID, role ID, record ID, whatever is helpful for you to do, track the associated record. You can define that here. 
but I'm going to uncheck that. Then I'm gonna hit save. So what I've defined here is that journal entries do allow for the drag and drop functionality and any attachment that I upload using that functionality will be uploaded into the file cabinet in the journal entry uploads folder. So I will save. And it just confirms what I've set up. And then I'll hit finish. So now I'm going to go to a journal entry record. Once it loads, there we go. Create a journal entry. And once this loads, what you will notice is that the, a new little window will pop up here that says drop files here, click for more options. So this is my drag and drop functionality. And just like it says, I can drag files. In this case, I have a file in there that already has that name. So it prompts me to overwrite that if I would like. And then it uploads the file. So I am in a demo environment. It does take a little bit more time than it does in a, a live environment. But now if I go over to my communication tab, I can see the file that I just dragged in displaying here. Now, if I go to a different transaction type or entity type, in this case, I'm just gonna hop over to a sales order record. What you'll see is that I don't have this functionality on the sales order. And that's because I opted to only set it up on a specific record type, the journal entry. So no functionality here. Now, if I go back to my setup menu and instead define a global destination folder, what will happen is I will now be able to upload files using the drag and drop feature on any record type. So let me save this. And then once it finishes, I will refresh my sales order. And then once the sales order loads, what you'll see is that I now have drag and drop functionality in the same spot that I did on the journal entry. So there it is. So as I mentioned at the start of this video, this bundle is free. It's NetSuite developed. I highly recommend installing it in your NetSuite environment. It only takes a few minutes. It only took me six. And configuration is very simple, especially if you're using the global destination folder option. You do have control over whether you want to enable it on all records or just specific record types. But if you do any sort of attachments within NetSuite, um, say POs on a sales order or whatever documentation you need to associate with specific records, this is a super helpful free bundle that makes that a lot easier and faster. You can import multiple files at once by selecting more than one and dragging them in. Um, I highly recommend this. So hopefully this was enjoyable and um, it's a feature that you can take advantage of. Thank you so much for watching.